What is up, everybody? How y'all doing? Good evening. Howdy, howdy, and welcome. Welcome, Poco. Welcome, Sassy. Starge. Karma. Welcome, Teeler. Minin. Valkers. <laughs> welcome, Beastie. <laughs> I will not shut up. <laughs> this is my theme, okay? This and I'm a Spy from Sonic Adventure 2 are my themes, alright? We just have to just accept it. If these songs play, it's because I'm nearby. Doing sleepy, dude. I'm doing sleepy too. I'm, I'm like, <coughs> I'm coming off this COVID like, really fucking tired. I gotta say, uh, but hey ho, could be a lot worse. Uh, Lep, how you doing? Good to see you. All the music that we listened to today was from Yakuza Zero. We had a request for Force Addiction from uh, Lucino, or sorry, Lucino, Lucolino, or Luco, um, and I decided to, to throw some of my favorite tracks and I came on top of it. This in particular, as you like, is the theme of uh, the Hostess Club minigame in particular when you're customizing the outfits of your hostesses. That was a damn fun minigame, gotta say. That were good songs. Pledge of Demon is my personal favorite. That that Kuze fight was so fucking sick. If you haven't played it, Beastie, Yakuza Zero is a solid ass game. And uh, the the first theme as well plays a few times, but I remember it playing whenever you're uh, hitting up the what do you call them the, the Nikio Consortium. They're like brothel base when you're fighting through that. I don't know. That was good shit too. That's probably like one of my like maybe my second favorite bit from the game. Um, yeah, Yakuza was good, but we're not here for no Yakuza's tonight. Instead, we are here to celebrate the third, the third birthday stream. So everybody say happy birthday as we get into some, I don't even know what's really going on with the plot with Ayabrea. Hey, what up, Loden? How's it going? Thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you all for being here tonight. Since I had to delay my start because I got some work dumped on my lap pretty late. Happy birthday, Valko. Happy birthday, Loden. Happy birthday, chat. You know what? Although this game is weird all over, It does have some good remixes of the original uh, Parasite Eve soundtrack. Play. <laughs> sure, Sassy, we'll play it. Not now, not your next birthday, but three birthdays from now. We'll play it on your. The, the bird Thursday is every day, Karma, let's be real. Man, what even, I'm trying to think of like how you sum up the plot of this game. It's some nonsense. <laughs> it's like, it's another one of those, uh, I feel like it's every game Toriyama directs such as a plot that gets like needlessly convoluted because they don't really have an interesting character driven story to tell. So they always just give you a mystery. Then whenever that mystery solved, they give you another mystery. It's, uh, it reminds me of like Lost, the, the mystery box storytelling and lost the TV series sometimes. Like, it, it, it makes enough sense, but it's just stupidly told and... Uh, uh. I think the boss connected to, th to three birthdays. I mean, okay. So, to start off with, our main character, Ayabrea. Uh... Wait, this this seems still a bit loud to me. 
a little bit light to y'all. Our main character, Ayabrea, um, appeared in front of a church in a wedding dress. Uh, like the year, I don't know, like, what was it, like 2015 or something like that, whatever. Um, with amnesia. No memories from the previous Parasite Eve games. Uh, but it was found that she had the ability to dive into other people's memories. And like possess them through those memories. And in fact this could be used as a form of time travel. Um, she could alter events by diving into people's memories. And, and therefore effectively diving into the past. Um... And she was, I guess, captured or turned herself in. Either way, the government sort of got control of her powers and uh, created a unit to try and use it for good. What's Ignore the outfit. To me than the twist is... Shut up. Um, so yeah. Uh, around about the same time that she popped into the world, these uh, creatures called the Twisted started appearing. And they seem to have a power that's somewhat related to hers or like hers in that they can take over human bodies, but they also morph them and mutate them into these strange alien creatures. Driven by these hives, I can't remember exactly what they're called. Also, hello. Hello, Scario. A little goddess like the the store um, but yeah so they started using Aya to try the, the twisted essentially took over the world at one point um, so they started using Aya's ability to go back into the past to uh, deal with the twisted to try and change fate and she has been so far like pushing back the apocalypse months at a time every time she goes back um, but at the same time, every time she goes back, it like it has some ripple effects. Like she had to kill one of her partners because he was for some reason misled by a twisted that had taken over or appeared to be his daughter. Um, and he thought like by helping this particular twisted, he could save his daughter's life. So he died. In another case, one of our other comrades' partners was turned into a Twisted and we had to kill her after saving someone else. It was like we saved one life and then we all- we, we, we seemed to lose people based on that. And there's been like uh, a coup by some military minister who uh, didn't like the fact that Eye of Brea's power was being used and then the guy who thought that his daughter was the guy thought he could save his daughter by helping the Twisted shot the shit up of uh, the government compound where we were, you know, being held. So they're all dead now. Uh, we're now working with scientists whose name I forget from the first Parasite Eve, who's a bit of a creeper. Wait, like he, he wasn't a creeper in the first game. He was just like sort of awkward and had an like, obvious crush on Aya. But now he's like a proper creeper and he wants to find this young girl that looks like Gaia, um, he wants like a pure nubile Aya, to, I, like ostensibly for experiments, but they're making him sound really creepy about it. But yeah, we find out more, we find out about this, uh, this little girl, Eve, who was from Parasite Eve 2, is a clone of Aya, um, that Aya adopted at some point between games and also I was getting married to Kyle Madigan another Parasite Eve 2 character and she keeps seeing them in these like memory flashes but they sort of exist outside of time we don't know exactly what's going on yet but uh, Eve has some connection to the twisted and it seems like Kyle is trying to I don't know help Eve somehow but Aya having her memories erased can just about remember them and can just about remember her wedding being interrupted by soldiers coming in and got him to play us in. Uh, yeah, no, it's the story in this game is fucking weird and presented obtusely and supposed to be a big mystery you dive into. It's just really bad writing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. 
Like I said, it's the same with Final Fantasy XIII. They can't tell a good character-driven story where, like, one event naturally leads into the other, so they have to leave it with these stupid obtuse mysteries. And our only card, our character's only motivation is, like, deal with the bad guy and uh, figure out the mystery. Uh, it, it's, it's dumb. But, uh, yeah, we're... Feed on time and space. I don't think they would create a battle we're being helped by... Missed. Maeda. To have a different use, unknown to all of us. He was a scientist from the first game. We're helping these guys take care of a uh, a twisted core or whatever it's called within this building. is man this DNA board stuff is so uninteresting it feels pointless you getting your hairs cutted? Enjoy hairs cutted. What happened to your clothes? Oh yeah, you take, you take, it doesn't even make sense. You take clothes damage as you take, you know, regular damage, but we're not even really playing as Aya. We're playing as Aya possessing the bodies of other soldiers. Cause that's her whole thing, going through people's memories, possessing them, like flip, switching from body to body uh, in order to fight. Um. Have enough BP. Fuck. But uh, yeah, despite the fact that it's not really Aya's body, she still gets, I guess, clothes damage. It makes no sense. It's real dumb all over this game. Probably wanted to implement clothing damage for lightning. Maybe. Maybe. Nope, not load. I wish to save. I don't remember what we're doing in this operation. You got proof? What's your proof? We keep getting these after effects on the screen. Any minute now. Even if I try to stop you, it won't do any good. I know that Kyle Madigan is close. Oh, here's Kyle Madigan. I'm gonna find out why he's popping up in the past. Also, stars, I simply don't believe you. I don't believe he said cat stare. What's up, the crits? Yeah, just give me a moment. I'll put on a random hat after I put on Balco's hat. Balco requested one. Why did you choose the trail? Where is Eve? Also, thank you what for did the you do with her? Persona you Five votes. Hmm. So I see going Final Fantasy Nine. The truth. Very nice. Will only hurt you. Stay back. Uh. 
I know you, Aya. I know all about you. Your hair. Your back. And your lips, too. Kyle. <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> Why are we shitting Kyle? AV, happy birthday. What's your what's your beef, huh? Your obsession. I swear, since you've like been hanging out in the stream, you've been playing like more and more racing games. Time goes on. Cringing at a white person with a white name is not a racism game. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, V, for the Stanley Parable votes. I've changed my outfit just for you now. Curse, you come. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. What the fuck am I supposed to do against this guy? He takes no damage. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, he's going after the other helicopter? Okay. That allows me to get some damage in, I guess. I do a thing where I can like I thought whenever he's doing that I can like hop into him
Oh. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. We were all, uh, all mourning that one fee. <laughs> I mean, is it confirmed to be Parasite Eve related? Only things so given the title alone, but... I don't know if that's actually the case. NFT fans in chat. <laughs> oh shit, he killed both my peeps on the ground. I need to not die while in this helicopter. Okay, we got a second heli helicopter. But to die away, and there's no time for. Am I fighting a dragon? I guess. They're all aliens called the Twisted. They're supposedly mutated humans, but we don't know why. We don't know how. You don't want to hurt me? Fuck you! Oh no, how Madigan is dead. I feel her, her presence. <laughs> there you are, Eve! Eve being the clone that we adopted at the end of Parasite Eve 2 apparently. didn't or did I <sighs> another mystery uh, Aya, listen there's something strange going on with the babble the babble I believe is the machine that we use to travel back in time I think Kyle Aya, is that you to protect you, but the twisted, they took over my body. Yeah, we travel back in time by traveling through the memories and into I, another person. How did this, why did this? Also, it's been established that I, like, I is physically another person, so this is some random SWAT dude lying bes uh, sitting beside Kyle. 
I feel like the game sort of like forgets that at every opportunity. Oh no, wait, I think the babbles are actually the, like, control centers of the Twisted. We've destroyed a few, and, like, whenever you destroy some, they, uh, the Twisted connected to it all die. A lot of our babbles touched. What then, chat? Oh my god, it's a tire of babbles. Are they gonna say it? Are they gonna are they, are they gonna do that? Surely not. Sleep peacefully. You be the last of your kind who prays for eternity. The doors to zero. Oh no, the good helpful doctor have who was helping us dive into the past the whole time was actually a bad guy who could have known. Who could have known? Yeah, the guy who looks exactly like Mr. Shinra. Operation Scarlet Snow. Episode 5. The Cut Door Attack. The Babble is an overdive system? That's indeed the case. Although it must be hard to believe, I know science is never wrong. Science is never wrong. Listen to me, Aya. You're here. You're real. If you're hurt, that's okay. what the uh, that's what the scientific method is about. It's just about being right all of the time, the entire time. I know it will. <laughs> How sweet your tears must taste. I really hate what they've done to this character and to Aya. Of course, to live also means to hurt. <laughs> and you will, repeatedly. <laughs> A new enemy has recently Yeah, this is Maeda. Trying to take the Grand Babel from the Twisted. A new enemy? Like Maeda, who is like something? bumbling, yes. benign. Species that can take like I said, had a crush on Aya, but was never, They're a new one never a, 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 a giga creep like this. He was helpful. He was, you know, he was he was kind and and like I said, bumbling. I presume you know him. Chief. But you know, he's a scientist with a with a crush, so we have to turn him into the biggest fucking creep. We unlock any new outfits yet? I thought given the fact that they allow us to select that fit, they allow us to also unlock a different one.
after game. I, I, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in this game that's built for after game. Like, there's so many weapons we have, have not unlocked. And, uh... I don't think we have, like, a whole ton of game left to go. You know, it's a shame because, like, this, it, it's never very, like, deep. But there's a somewhat fun third-person portable shooter in this game. But uh, it keeps getting bogged down by, like, the stupidity of the story and... Other stuff. A hey, Thifu. What's up, Josh? How's it going? Welcome to both y'all. Your birthday is twenty-five hours long. Please explain. Confuse. The Babels fused to create the Grand Babel. Okay, they didn't call it the Tower of Babel. That's decent. Owlsinger? That game looked pretty fun. Would you recommend? A huge stronghold, clinging to what little hope remained, surviving troops moved in on the Twisted Stand to bring it down. 100% yes. Maybe I'll get to it someday. I'm trying to work through some Game Pass games before they, uh... Because there's, there's been a lot that, like... I owe you. I'm Special Agent Aya Brea of the CTI. There's been a lot that's gone off before I had the chance to play it. And my final mission is about to begin. What up, Sisto? God, top six. Oh, that's right. You remember me saying that? The Grand Babel have formed a suicide squad. Their last attempt at resistance. <laughs> well, perhaps. No one's commanding the troops at this point. Each unit is acting on its own. Oh, daylight savings. To protect New York. Wait, does your your birthday fall on daylight savings? You get that extra R. Go. Not quite another kill. Oh shit. Big kill up. Other did, will you please shoot? There we go. Man, I bought Neon White and I still haven't played it. Another game I ought to get around to. are 
high boars tracks. It might be hard to believe, but... Uh, please get crossfire. Oh god, we have these guys as well. Please die. Thank you. Chips. Got another one of them. Oh shit, another guy right there. I need some reinforcements, please. I don't see like a core or anything that I can destroy, so I think it's probably we just have to deal with a wave of these guys. Dan Brennan's like the most normal name we've seen in this game. Rashan Bogged. Possibly bought, but bogged is how I choose to read it. Please give me reinforcements, video game. Pretty please. Oh fuck, I'm super dead. <laughs> Why you should invest in some Symbiogenesis MTs? Because this is not how Square Enix is holding our favorite video game franchises hostage. So if there's never a, uh, a Parasite Eve released again, it is directly your fault. Can't blame Square, can't blame anyone else. It's all me. Shit, probably shouldn't have grenaded that guy. Okay, we're doing a lot better this time.
Come on. Ah, fuck. Get the dive. Pretty please. Oh my god. Man, two of these guys regenerating at the same time is a bit fucking much to deal with. I really wish I could have got the kill on one of them. Why the fuck is this guy still standing? My goodness. There we go. Get a dive, please. Holy fuck. The fact that they keep regenerating while switching targets on you really makes it uh, a bit tough. There's no supplies or anything to pick up around here either. Oh my god! Additional dude! Let's fucking go. Oh my god, that dude's right up to full health again. We just gotta survive. 
So someone comes along. Which is uh, a lot easier said than done, apparently. Holy fuck. <laughs> Falcon, I'm not looking for that much logic in it, to be honest with you. I think they just wanted I to lose clothes. These are high bores tracks. It might be hard to believe, but. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, Luco? You missed your uh, your opening track, unfortunately. I played uh, Force Addiction from Yakuza Zero alongside Pledge of Demon and Tusk. Fuck. Please bring someone else in here. I was doing so well. Fuck! I'll play them during the break, if you're still here. And that guy's health is almost fully back up as well. Oh man, we have someone new. No, 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 do not die.
Where's the big guy at? Come on, fucking kill him. Yes! Alright, just have one la one big floaty guy I have to deal with. Trying to solar flare me, you motherfucker. <laughs> Step bro your clothes. My goodness. How you doing, coconut? Oh yeah, look, that, uh, that, that music's sick. It was a good music choice for sure. Am I playing on gamer difficulty? I don't think so. What is this about? Uh, time traveling, lost memories. Aliens that hijack human bodies. We also hijack human bodies, but it's okay when we do it. Yeah, mitochondria are mixed up in there somewhere, I'm sure. Fucking tech cover. What are you doing over there? Fuck. Can I go to the other side with the other guy? Nope, seems like he is stuck here. Fuck me, they're popping up everywhere. Oh, they're teleporting?
Well. Okay, don't try a strip shot. Fuck's sake. Head cover, pretty please. Get some health back. Yeah, the names are all randomly generated. Hence the zero cents that they make. Oh yeah, we got clothing damage in this game. It's very important that they included this. Oh fuck! God damn it! That's so frustrating. Okay, this is doing no damage, but it is building up liberation gauge, which is also very useful. Man, now that I get to die straight away. <laughs> that is the appropriate reaction, at least. Fuck! I don't know how the hell those people were supposed to survive over there. Please tell me you've got some grenades here. That'll do.
Come on, can I get some crossfire in here, please? Dude, will you please fucking die? My goodness. Let's do this. Thank you. Alright, one more crossfire and this guy should be enough. And then I think I can use my liberation on the other dude to straight up merc him. Shit, that wasn't enough. Whoop. Oh, damn, that was a tough fight. Yeah, <laughs> whenever the battle damage gets this low, half her cheek just gets just bees eyed. It just bees eyed. Oh, am I supposed to destroy that thing? Are there any more that I'm supposed to destroy? Am I supposed to go somewhere? Uh, I think we can definitely say they were horny. Too horny for a reason. Thompson. Okay, thank God. Have any good over energies? What about you ones? Hmm. I get these leveled up. Four and two. Can I get a four and three? Three and three. Three and one. Four and one. Four and one. One and one. This system kind of sucks. Feels pointless. Oh, that's a different scope. Okay.
Doesn't really feel like there's much difference in like buying different weapons and so on. I'm just working my way through them for the sheer fuck of it all. Has the word DNA in it, and this is a power side EVM. That is true. I mean, kinda. Despite the fact that, you know, not called Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve is nowhere in the title. The Twisted will gather here to venture into the past. It's natural instinct to... Yeah... There's a lot of things that are, like, a bit fun about it. But altogether, it, it just kind of feels like a bit of a mess. What the fuck? Give him back. Oh, he just straight up turned him into a uh, twisted. We're gonna have Vincent's McColgan. Who I'm guessing is Irish Italian from the name. Oh fuck! Aldrinon Speedman, true enough. That is a good name. A good strong name. Jamie. Target acquired. And become smart rat. Killing countless twisted, effortless. Flowers for rat spin. Are even more powerful than we expected. Enemy contact. We must have been fighting the twisted through time and space. The twisted. Why the fuck would they spawn on my side? Why would you set up cover for them to spawn on my side? Fucking video games, man. Not even once. Hey, what up you ho? I'm sorry, we are in fact playing the NFT. Yeah. 
damn you, no. My whole fucking crew's dying. Oh fuck, there's dudes on the other side too. I would like some backup please. Came after quick hello to friends. He's killing countless twisted efforts. Are even more powerful than we expected. Enemy contact! He must have been fighting the twisted in time and space. Now we got like a race of superhumans in the mix of this goddamn plot. What the fuck? Why does this level suck so much? My goodness. Oh my god. I don't think it's the hardest difficulty. Yes, yeah, Cyrus, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by, my dude. The high ones are even more powerful than we expected. Enemy contact! I wonder if I can release things. The little dude will stop spawning. <laughs> you do have a little flyer, it's true. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh my goodness. I'm hoping to just get as much health as I can for this character. No, no, no. Don't fucking undo all my good work. Whoop! Alright, here we go. Someone else popped in. And he's immediately gonna die. Orlando Divine, that sounds like a stripper name. Oh, what the fuck? Another one needs to respond? Ready for the crossfire as soon as he comes out. Fuck you! Yeah, the PSP was a pretty solid console. Don't forget, like, Dissidia, Final Fantasy, Persona 3 Portable, a million strategy RPGs. Monster Hunters, even though, to be honest with you, I did not. I bunched off my first attempt at playing Monster Hunter. Yeah! Fuck him. Big Young Guiza, my boy. Surely there's a... Oh, whatchamacallit? A translation for it in the Iscario. The boys at romhacking.net would not let me down like this. Partial. Partial is better than Nunchul, I guess.
You trying to solar flare me, motherfucker? Fuck, just interrupted my crossfire. Something else spawning. Get blisters on the blisters. Yo, that goddamn that PSP analog stick. I can imagine. All right, where's Beck Young, Giza? Die, you motherfucker. Wait, that thing's not dead? Oh, it's a new thing. Aim for the weird anus. Wait, what the fuck? Did all my squad just die? Did really killed my entire squad. All right, next time we gotta make sure that, that guy if proper fucking dies. Is inevitable with every encounter. Either been twisted or out for blood, and won't let an enemy. Seaweed. Hello, you. Thank you for all of the dage. I feel it in my heart. Come on, get the crossfire going. No, 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 do not yet let Big Young die, please. Trying to solar flare me, motherfucker. Ah. Let's 
Where's Beck Young? Kill it. Come on, fucking die! Thank God. It's about to do a thing where it just kills the whole damn squad again. Oh my God, it actually did get it off. Big Young Giza is the last dude alive. That is wild. He really does open his whole anus and that just is the end of your squad. God damn, these guys are all over. someone else come in the mix. Thank you. Not only did they just kill my whole squad, but they turned them all into Twisted. Joaquin Wilhelm, what a name. Jimmy and Pete's. And Iker Adler. The squad. Alright, regen some health. The Anus shall trouble us no more. How's Beta coming along? Look, I'm right here, you don't have to call me that. It's rude. And fairly useless, thank you.
You can't fucking crickets in Breath of the Wild. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to. Can I find crickets? Uh, I came across some. I remember, I remember seeing some crickets. Use your fucking ears. Damn. Also, I guess like wet areas. He was just there, Aya. You're closing in on him. Please die. Alright, that's one dead. <laughs> Ikea sign is no more. I'm sorry, V. Fucking hell. Okay, now he's got guys fucking teleporting to every side. Which, gotta say, not my favorite so far. Holy shit, they keep goddamn spawning. Oh, I just realized what I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to fight these guys. <coughs> Pardon me. Hang on to your knees and Bofa. So wise. Just there, Aya. You're closing in on him. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. Bam, 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 da, da, ba, da, bam. Whoa. 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 Did 
don't know why that song's in my head. <laughs> Speaking of, can I get an exclamation point? Death, pretty please. Let me kill this guy. Pretty please. Don't you do it. Fucking... Then I'd be take care of yourself. Actually, the game's been kind of workable so far. It's been tough, but it, it's been like the kind of stuff that's been a little bit fun to figure out. Oh. 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 Is there a blue wall behind us? No, we just need to kill this guy. Really is just stuck right in there. I don't even know more of the song than that. Come on, up, up. You real? I did not kill it. Jesus. No, this is not the final boss. This is like a standard enemy. Oh, I sent some bullshit. By golly, I was correct.
Oh shit, there's one spawn right beside me. It's comically fitting. I mean, that song does go with everything. Can I get some linkages, please? Jesus. All my mans are low health. Come on. How long is it gonna flash orange for? Give me a dive, please. There we go. Alright, the fact that they keep respawning makes me think there's gotta be something else that we do here. It's not just making me fight a million of these dudes. No way! Three of them at uh, No way. And one of them is the dude that fucking ghosts people?
You're out of touch. I'm out of time. Thank God. Shit, it's doing this weird ghost thing. Don't let it live. Three lists. My list of friends. You're somewhere near the bottom. Uh, maybe list. Cracker of a list. Can't go wrong with it. And. The list of anime. All... All the lists of anime. It's not the almost definitely list. That makes it sound non-committal. It's the O-most oh, definitely list. No, don't make me die here. Not when I'm this close to some sort of victory, I think. No, fuck me. Okay, no, it just teleported me. That's fine. Reinforcements, or can I just like leave the fucking stage? Oh my god. Please, please summon reinforcements. Please summon reinforcements. Let's go, fellas. We are out of here. The might play, so there is no might play someday list. There is a, why are you playing this list? Which is an entirely different thing. Which actually just sort of turned into the list of the, uh, for scoop games. The list for games that I want to have on a scoop of PB is almost as long as the list as you know, games I definitely want to play at some point. enough BP for almost anything at the moment. You run a time. 
Look, I don't have that many lists of games. I have the maybe list, I have the maybe list reserves, I have the almost definitely games, I have the soon to be played games from the almost definitely list, I have the scoop list, and Sisto also has a, a list of gems, but you know, that's not my list, so you can't, can't really say shit to me about that one. Oh, there is a defeats list, and I guess there's also a list of completed games. Okay, fuck it. Here's the cannon. My love for you is like a truck berserker. Do you want to make him fuck berserker? With this, you can destroy this beast. Music is kind of a jam though. One dude dead. Oh, I never put on the random hat. I'll do it after this fight. Thank you, Valkers. Keeping me honest. Two damage as well, or nope. Let's do this.
Noise, we got another bit with Bazelka. I think I just have to try and evade him as best as possible in here, which does not seem very possible. Hey, what's up, Port? How's it going, my dude? Shit. It, there's no more ammo, is there? Oh, I gotta wait for someone. It's a berserker to pop in. Or maybe there's ammo back here. There was not. Oh, he got a reload of it. I guess he just charged his ammo for it. In time. Uh, nah, grenades don't work against this guy. The only thing that works against this guy is the Berserker. Don't kill Dorsey. Visit folks, went on a run. Had a sauna, played Vidya. Kind of sounds like living the life. Absalom Sharer. What another name. Got him. Goodbye, Mr. Reaper. What? What? What the fuck? Are you supposed to keep lasering his dead body, I wonder?
I think we gotta... Yeah, he'll recharge his... Unique weapon. Shit, Absalom's done. Dorsey's almost done. Dorsey's dead. Now we have. None of them guns. Oh shit, but everyone's doing damage to him now. He's just taking damage regularly. Oh, fuck me. Alright, so he regens health as well. Tough fight. I do want to take this Berserker with me though. I wonder which character is going to become the secret secret villain at the end. Who could it be? Let's see what this critical shot does. Come on, give me double critical shot, you shit. It's like the one combination it hasn't given me. Oh shit, that was it. Okay, that's also it. 
Doesn't this game save? Yeah, there's a save here. Cancel releasing an energy shot with a handgun equipped. Man, remember when that was just a thing that you could do? You could choose to do it. Remember it was like psychic powers you could use in this game? Well, not this game, but you know what I mean. Oh wait, I should. Oh, nope, my protective gear is a okay. All right, we had a random hat request. Give me one moment. Man, I am constantly getting follows from like bots pretend to be hot women on Twitch. At number 15. Oh. Anyone else getting that? Just like girls with random names. They've done like three posts and they tend to have like about a dozen followers, but they're following hundreds of people. Sorry, not on Twitch, on Twitter. The only hot lady that I want is Morgan. Did I save that? You are now and forever my main subject of research. No matter what happens to the world, you will always be the center of my universe. All right, groomer. Oh, we're jumping to boss ass arena. I have been trapped in the ring of time. The twisted come from the future, and I destroy them. And eventually I fall. When I do, I wake up at the church on a snowy day, and the cycle repeats itself. Is he talking about me or is about to end? Jesus. Who was it that ordered you here, Agent Brea? It was no one. <laughs> what a brave soul. Lassie, you've saved the stream. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to know one thing. Why did you? Put me up against the High Ones. There's something I desire. And it's beyond that door. We are at war with the Twisted. Every time one of us dies, the time-space power structure is consequently redesigned. And the Babel grows in strength. <laughs> and that's what I... Used as an advantage. Our species became the foundation of the Grand Battle. We were successful as we unlocked the doors to Zero. What about all of your friends? What the fuck the is Zero? That are important to me. What are the high I ones? Gave them the freedom to doubt. You dare to trust me. <laughs> you scared, Aya? Or are you in fact enjoying this? I can handle this. Every 
everyone else did. Then come. I will be the one to show you the truth. <laughs> look, look at that! What is that? Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is free of fire. Why are you laughing? Jamarcus Frankentine. Can we get some more peeps out here, please? Don't recognize that one, Luko. Rolls theme from Marvelous Capcom. Mm, don't know that one. Jesus, the whole squad freed up dead already.
please bring in some other dudes. Please give me more dudes. I have no idea how to dodge that shit. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, it's from Tatsunoko versus Capcom, or does Tatsunoko Cap versus Capcom have a version of it? I've probably heard it at some point because I didn't have the Tatsuno vs. Capcom sign track. <laughs> Gotta say though, disappointed with uh, that game's version of Jazzy New York. Despite the fact that it has like a whole bunch of other sick songs like uh, Soki's theme and Batsu's theme from... Oh shit. Yeah, it was unfortunate because it's such a good track as well, like, naturally. What do you want? What do you want? Got him. Jump ball, sorry, versus Capcom. That could be cool. I just want like a Capcom versus Capcom. To be honest with you. Just like all their, uh, all their franchises getting some love. Yeah. 
And it should definitely be called Capcom vs. Capcom 2. I know that they- Oh, she just straight up shot her. They made an attempt with, uh, fighting all-stars, but... Everything I've heard about that game is that it sucks hard. I shot... Eve? Yes. To stop the awakening of Eve the mother. Eve is... Eve is the mother? We high ones, we were there. The moment Eve Brea awakened, and the memories from her body were inherited by us fortunate ones. <coughs> Pardon me. Eve. Uh, and that's why I did it. I know that I can fix my mistake if I die. Oh, is that so? Well, your past is what makes you who you are. I'll let you in on the a coolest thing about it to me fighting an all stars is that it you know it has uh, red yours, earth characters in it. Shared by that game just needs love it is time although red earth did get a, a re-release as part of the Capcom like fighting game collection which is sick Time zero. Oh, we just go straight into the do you want to do things? Yeah, I love Red Earth. Um, would not mind doing like an all ending playthrough of that on stream. More lion daddies. Yeah. I understand. Leo's pretty damn sick. I was gonna say, I don't see why, why don't they don't just move the Red Earth characters into the Darkstalkers universe. It'll be very easy, but then again, they'd have to make a new Darkstalkers to do that, so... I guess that answers that. Which had the Capcom fighting collection? Uh, yeah, I don't have it either. Moving across time to time zero, Agent Ayabrad dove into Hyde Psyche, detonating the whole of her life force in a heated struggle to eliminate him at last. The only ones I played are Vampire and Darkstalkers. You learn Felicia and Gallon. Pardon me. Dimitri was uh was my boy. We're doing this fight again. You think it's a nod to Gallon? I, I think it's more just the etymological closeness to Garo, which is uh, both French and Japanese for wolf. you die on that hill? I mean, whatever hill floats your boat, I guess.
Yeah, I mean, but they're they're ling linguistically close, is what I mean. Garon, Garu. You just want to believe? I understand. You want to believe that Darkstalkers isn't age? Well, that simply isn't allowed. We have to acknowledge that it's gone. Last few being pain forever. What on earth is going on? Oh. Shit, I guess that's one of those things where I'm supposed to just like leap from body to body. Look, Jumbo. Oh shit, I gotta do this from the fucking start. Some cool gameplay. I mean, I'm not really doing much. I'm just switching bodies and then firing constantly. I'm not like moving or anything because I can't move. I'm not building up my liberation gauge. Oh, you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Did I miss that? Fuck. I missed my chance for the dive attack. This is just like Killer7. No, that is a deep untruth. You wanna draw a roll? My go for it. Classic character. Soon to return with the rest of the Mega Man franchise, I'm sure. I mean Mega Man gets games every now and then. I can't say it's completely dage. The developed in Mega Man 12. Didn't know that. Eleven's the most sold one. Man, every franchise that gets made is hitting that most sold game in every, uh, most sold game in its, whatchamacallit. It. 
in its series. I think it's like there's so much, there's so many more players now. It's probably not as difficult to get that. Man, what the fuck? Mateo Walker is the next cow type too. Nope, oh, Flacido Kramer. Yeah, it's probably not fair to attribute all of it to just, you know, games having a much wider install base than ever, but it's definitely a part of it. Is this Mega Man? Yes, Seb, this is what Mega Man has become. Oh, do you mean Mega Man as in Mega Man himself, his sprite? There is some iconicity to it. Or is there something different looking about it in it specifically? Wait, is it is it one of the SNES ones? Is that 16 bit? I never played like the classic games beyond four. Evans SNES. It's PSX. I see. <laughs> Through a football. Don't you kick those? It'd be funny if they made a sport called football and most of the contact with the ball is actually, you know, with your hands. Is this gonna be it? Is that? Okay, no, it's not. <clears throat> not the end. Not yet. Morgan super moves involve her summoning mags. What? No. <laughs> I mean, she turns her wing into like boosters and like rocket things. And she th fires like magic missiles, people essentially. And then she has like the the hyper shadow blade thing, which is just another extension of her wings. And then she has her uh, mirage heal. 
But I guess there is like there's a mech look to some of her moves. Stay out of my way. Same with her dash. Like her wings turn into jets. Even if what awaits you is the guilty, horrible truth. I'm gonna save her. This has nothing to do with you. I want the same thing as you do, Aya. I want to surpass time and make my way to the mother. That's all I really want. I swear to you. You stay away from her! Let's end this now. Who will witness time? What? <laughs> Where'd that thought even come from, Loco? <laughs> you okay, buddy? You got things on your mind? Why does the plane feel equal if you can overdrive and I can't? There's some bullshit. <laughs> oh, I see you're, uh, you're attributing horniness to the motive of these people, which, you know, is fair. There have been known to be horny Morrigan artists, for sure. They have been observed. Now, uh, is that gonna be a game over? Okay, yeah. Thank God. Thought not. Thelonious. Stay alive, Aya. You can dive into me. Show me a new world, Aya. It's Cardigan Twink. I want you to dive into me. It's our stalker. The sadness. They have to end. Now, go. It's Fight for you and our weird else. boyfriend. Husband guy. I'm Gem like fighter endings? Oh man, ages ago. Ages and ages ago. Chun Li's end has her capturing Felicia and putting her in a zoo. Why not? Who's to say he wasn't right? Fuck. 
Time to pray. Uh. 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 End this, please. Not like that. That fucking. Oh! I wonder if we're going to get Thelonious back. Fuck. Shit, I missed an opportunity to dive into him. Okay, so the fact that they can't take damage when I'm d d diving out of them makes it really easy to sort of abuse their invulnerability. Do a Mega Man Marathon? Mm, that would probably be a bit painful. <laughs> I'm not very good at Mega Men's. To be entirely honest with you. Oh, one more. Is that it? Video game, video gamed? Let's go beyond zero. Oh, not yet. Of course, if you call a character Hide Boar, he's gonna be the fucking primary antagonist of the game. The squid guy. Oh, we just fight him in overdrive. Is this like a can't die kind of boss fight?
Okay, we can die if we run out of overdrive, I'm guessing. We just gotta make sure that doesn't happen. I think our liberation bar is serving as our HP. And it's not, it's not decreasing with time like it usually would, but it is decreasing when we take damage. Or when we get hit, rather. Okay, so we'll get this on the second try. Or maybe we'll get him now if he just lets me, like, tech all of his health from afar. Okay, nope. I can try this. Game over. Thank you, crits, for a little death. How to dodge these ones? Yeah, they do. They do be a bit bullet spongy for sure in this game. And Dej. How did Megas so records each game's death? Uh, I just change it manually when I'm streaming a different game. I have a word pad saved with all the, the death numbers. You will be forced to commit another sin against your wishes. Chief, what were your true intentions? Man, I am so fucking wishy-washy. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, the, the answer to your question? I was just saying I, I manually change it between games and I keep a word pad with uh, the deaths for every game on it. If that's what you mean. It's time zero. The place where eternity begins.
December 24th. 10. Overdrive. <laughs> Where's the happy couple? They should be here soon. But the bouquet is mine. What? <laughs> what? There's no law saying a man can't have it. You're such an idiot. She already said I could have it. How the fuck? Congratulations. Aya doesn't know these Aya. two. Until she joins. Like, she doesn't join this whole unit. This counter twisted unit. And she doesn't meet these people until. After these events, unless for some reason they just happen to be, and um, whatever. Oh, we playing as Eve the whole time? Is that what's happened? Oh, great mother Eve. Return to your original vessel. Did we mind jack Aya? If we've been playing as Eve the whole time, that would at least... I'd be fine with that as an explanation for why Aya's character has completely changed. It doesn't explain why Midas' character completely changed, but... You know, we'll take what victories we can get. I've been hiding inside of you. Weird. I wanted to surpass the wall of time. Uh, I'm Eve? Yes. You are Eve, Brea. Time zero is when you dove into Aya's body, and that is when your memory was taken from you. Okay, that's actually, that's not the worst twist, I gotta say. I was lying on the ground. I Doesn't make the rest of the game good. To save her. Someone was walking towards us. But it's a bit of a... I was desperate. Bit of a ballsy the pool. the moment when the overdive was born. Overdive. Both of your souls collided. In return, I abrae a soul. Dude, what are these hand gestures? <laughs> <laughs> the two fists slapping together to represent souls colliding? Sure, buddy. Destroyed her soul. Why did she even point That's the gun at her? At time zero. I guess maybe she just like saw movement. Were scattered to all corners of time and space, only to become reborn. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And your body's deterioration gave birth to life forms with your memories. The high ones. Eve and Aya. You two were the cause of the birth of two new species, and that 
is time zero. So then, it's all my fault. The cycle repeats Wait, uh, itself. Sorry, what? I have became there's no need for the twisted what? This is I don't understand that. In the cycle will begin. Your body will soon be destroyed. And again, they will be transformed into the high ones. Everyone's... Your soul has returned to where it should be, Eve. Listen to me. Before your body is destroyed, take me in. You can avoid destruction and experience a new birth. That's the sole reason. I stand here before you now. I have come here to graciously offer myself to the mother. You will then be born again, and your descendants will be advanced life forms with the ability to ultimately end the war against the Twisted. I will remain inside of you and watch as the new future unfolds in front of you. But will the people that are important to me be there? People? They are nothing. Just a part of our evolutionary process. No! I'm not going to let you go. If you don't like it, you can just become part of me. Let's dream together. The same dream. Leave her alone, will you? Aya! What? Aya's soul should be gone. Well, it's already been destroyed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Oh man, getting an actual confident Aya Brea. She's returned. It's her birthday. If they end this if game with Somna Memorias, I'm I'm gonna fucking I want you to have this. It's getting knocked down seventeen tiers into the and basement. I was the one who <laughs> Listen You need to aim here <laughs> Right now I just can't. I can't do this. Of course you can do it. Go on. I just want you to stay. I wish I could have exchanged my vows with Kyle. Man, Kyle's sort of a dick. Do we really I want to get with him in the end? I always wanted to be just like you. You're so strong and you're so kind. I don't. I just can't. Like throughout all of Parasite Eve 2, Kyle Madigan was a bit of a, a jackass. And do we get all this? Yeah, <laughs> do we get all this blood on me? Eve. I'll shoot her for that. The one who can end this is you.
Oh, we're getting that main theme drop. Fucking Tori Amoritan. So, so yeah, she but she she goes back in time once again. To a timeline where somehow Eve doesn't exist physically anymore, but obviously Aya's soul is destroyed, so she's not inhabiting Aya's body. But Kyle remembers Eve, and Eve has her own memory still. And then she's about to marry Kyle. That's the weirdest fucking thing. The fact that she she hears Kyle's dying memories, pretends to be Aya whilst he's saying that shit, then goes back in time and is about to marry Kyle. Only stopped by the fact that like, you're not actually Aya. But I mean, that's the, I guess that's a good guy. Good guy of Kyle. Good, good guy move for Kyle. Do fourth birthday. Maybe it's okay that Symbiogenesis isn't actually a Parasite Eve sequel. Maybe we can just move on. I still stand by that only the first game is like the really, a really good one. The second one, like I said, felt like an unnecessary sequel. This felt like confusing ass. Weird ass game. But hey, we did it. We beat the video game. Our yearly tradition of playing one Parasite Eve game every Halloween is donezo. Complete. It is no more. Now you're here, you can do it again. I will at some point replay the first Parasite Eve. I really enjoyed that game. Uh, I loved, I loved this like pulpy, based on real science, but not fucking really. <laughs> <laughs> I love that aspect of it. The the big long uh, expositions of how the the science of uh, what you call it. What do you call it? The powerhouse of the cell, mitochondria, and its uh, alien presence, mutation, the symbiogenesis.
You might Assassin's Creed based on real history. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to get post credits scene? And you know what? It's good that we never got a shower scene in this game because, I mean, uh, our, our player character is technically a child. Mentally and emotionally. Which does make the fan service quite weird. Also, I can't believe they assassinated Maeda's character that hard for it to not pay off into anything. Like, if they were going to do him that dirty, be ass villain, but no. Nope. Just ruined his character to. Mmm. Have a grand old time with it. There are, there are, maybe not even the bones, there's like the cartilage and the skin of a fairly decent third person shooter in that. There are no moments today when it's like got super, super frustrating. Just like a bit frustrating. Uh, the, the body jumping mechanic and how you use that to maneuver the battlefield and like avoid damage and access weapons is pretty cool. The story had like maybe two good ideas and then the rest of it was nonsense and told in the most uh, obtuse and unnecessarily drawn out way possible. And the way it starts to drop in terms it's very much falsy Lissy with all of its the high ones time zero. Like there is a point in the game when a card should say, What the fuck is that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Which they just don't do. Um Yeah, it, it, it feels like they wanted, like, they had plotted out big dramatic moments and they didn't really do, like, the legwork within this story to get from one to the next, such as, like, when our entire squad got wiped out, when it got taken over by Mr. Military Man. Everything to do with Thelonious, uh, phrase, motivations. And like introducing our best friend just to kill her in like the same chapter of the game. It's all, it was all very. Like, it's weird that it was so unimaginative and yet also. And I bet. I bet so much more of the game would have got fleshed out had we read the Codex, but the Codex was also a ridiculous thing. Every time you changed history, the Codex changed and added like... Dozens upon dozens upon dozens of entries, some of them with only minor differences. I went to check it once after we had like the whole time shift thing, and whenever I saw how it changes, like, nah, I'm good, I'm alright, thanks. Not gonna read any more of that. So yeah, overall, it was interesting to play it. Uh, but I would not recommend it. And say I like it. I had some fun with it. Experiencing the story with y'all, even though, <laughs> even though for most of the time it just seemed like chat's reaction was what. Throughout the entire game, uh, it was kind of my reaction too. Fair. I was just what with a bit more context because you know, paid attention to the whole thing. Cool that I am.
Ooh. With me. <laughs> Live chat reaction. There were some rat jams in there. There's some good music. And we'll be getting the OST for this game. The third birthday. Maid uniform, of course. Jongsan, that's a view mode. And cheat codes. And what happens if I? To a load. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's it. I want to look up what what outfits can you get in this game. I bet, I bet there's like at least 10 that they just haven't, uh, they just don't give you until like you're way in the, in the post game. Okay, third birthday outfits just brings up a lot, a lot of like shopping stuff. Of course. Okay, black leather, white elder, business suit. Lightning custom, knight armor, apron dress, china dress, Santa soldier, swimwear, OD suit, and titanium bunny. So yeah, it's like 10. 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. Yeah, as expected. Gonna get diaper ads now. Uh, I mean, that's probably not a bad thing. There's, there's, there's babbies on the way. And that... <laughs> Coco. You ain't cute. But you are right. That will in fact be it for tonight. Um, thank you everybody for hanging out. Thank you for witnessing the end. Hey, Pimmy. Good to see you. How you doing? Um, yeah, that'll be the end. I'll be back again tomorrow. You've been here but lurking. Well, I hope you're keeping well. Thank you for lurking. Um, I don't know what time I'm going to be back tomorrow just yet. Hey, Cloudy. Thank you for hanging on us as well. Uh, might be around 1pm. We're going to just be doing another trailer binge. I don't have the energy in me for a, a, a hood as of yet. My tiredness is just sort of... It makes me feel like I wouldn't be a great host at the moment. So yeah, we'll be doing a trailer binge tomorrow. I might do, oh, pardon me. I might do some Breath of the Wild in the evening, but that's not a sure thing. Trailer Binge is definitely a sure thing. It'll be either like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m., somewhere around there. Any hoomsts. Uh. Let's go raid Runtooth. Trying to complete some. Resident Evil for tonight. Playing as Leon Kennedy in a crop top with a tramp stamp. Which uh, we'd love to see. We'd love to see it. So yeah, tomorrow trailer binge. 1pm, 2pm, GMT, kind of somewhere around there. Maybe some Breath of the Wild in the evening, but that's not confirmed. Uh, then on Sunday, definitely going to do a double whammy stream. We're going to have Bayonetta 3 in the morning. 10.30 a.m. GMT and then uh, Breath of the Wild in the evening, 7.30 p.m. GMT. So please, y'all do feel free to come along and hang out. But uh, that's got to be it for me. I'm going to get my ass to bed. Happy that I beat third birthday. Glad it's over. So, 
Until next time, take care, y'all. Be good. And bye-bye.